Ms. Chairwoman, board members, thank you so much for allowing me to speak here today. And I'm here to urge you to adopt textbooks that teach evidence-based science. 150 years ago, Charles Darwin described the theory of evolution. And every day for 150 years, the theory has been tested and retested and has grown stronger and stronger about it. There's no doubt about the theory of evolution these days. And it's the theory that unites all of biology. It affects a range of fields from agriculture to medicine to conservation. And it's a key to our students' future. I live in Houston, and I live across the street from the largest medical center in the world. We need Texas students to take jobs as doctors and researchers there. We need those students to do things like cure AIDS and cancer. And if we don't teach them evolution, they won't do that. And so creationism is not science. And it doesn't belong in public school science classrooms. The First Amendment of the United States Constitution lays out a clear separation of church and state. Teaching creationism in public schools is unconstitutional. Compromising the content of science textbooks by removing textbooks based on religious objections to evolution is equally unconstitutional. It's not just wrong, it's also an American because it's a fundamental attack on the separation of church and state and that's a foundation of our country. And so today we've heard a little bit about how we should throw out these biology books because they don't meet some implied creationist standard. That's not true. These are good biology books. We should adopt them. And I, I hope you will all make the right choice in the coming days. Thank you all so much for letting me speak. And since I'm the last one, have a good night. <laughs>